Day. They're going to try and keep this opening drive alive. Their first possession of the game. Tronti is going to be hit and dropped for a loss. Uh, move on. I think he'll have a shot at the NFL being as prolific a passer as he is. Here it is right here. Big strike caught at the 35-yard line. Down efficiency. Here's White. Pumps. Pushed out of the pocket. He's a good runner. And he'll take it inside the 45-yard line out at the 43. For Mike Norvell, last year before the Cotton Bowl, trying to win his first bowl game as a head coach. Here's White loading up. That's going to be a first down for Taj Washington. That's the second time they targeted the redshirt freshman from Marshall, Texas. Martin in the backfield. They need the 22-yard line to keep this opening series alive, and that is undercut. And the defensive back may have got a hand on it. It's 14 of 20 this year with a long of 56 within his range. And how about that? Riley Patterson. The ball got to the receiver. So the Owls get a break, but they put it on the turf. It's loose, still loose. It's wet. And it looks like Memphis has recovered. Ball back and forth and flipping it and doing all these sorts of things. It's wet out there. The, the least amount of hands that touch the ball are better, and Memphis takes advantage. They've got 18 takeaways on the season. It's really helped get more possessions to Brady White in that powerful offense. And as you can see, strong as a bull, too. Second down and eight. White stays clean in the pocket. Plenty of time to throw, and he's on target again inside the 20-yard line. Again hooks up with Ivor. Oh, here. With the wind at his back, Brady White and the Memphis offense keep it on the ground. They're going to pound it with Asa Martin. Second down and goal. White, little pressure, throws off his back foot and connects. Touchdown, Tigers. Javon Ivory. Bryce, he's out. Third down and long for Brady White. Wants it all going deep. There's contact in the secondary. Oh, what a catch! What a catch for Taj Washington. Draw play to Martin. We get a few more yards. 42 yard attempt. And yeah, this doesn't have a chance. The change at quarterback. Taggart is the play caller. Backpedaling. Screen pass. And Memphis was ready for Charles. And it's fourth down. Absolutely. That's what they're trying to accomplish here tonight. Out to a good start. This is Kylan Watkins, his first touch. Marquavius Weaver checks into the game now at running back for Memphis. White is going to go down the field, and he's complete. Caught at the 32-yard line by Ivory. White may be trying to go back after him here. Second down and 10. Pressure picked up. White lofts it downfield. It's underthrown and intercepted. And it's Gilbert. And he shoved those words right back down my throat. <laughs> it's an interception. Nick Tronti started the game. Pressure and down goes Posey. Thomas Pickens, the senior linebacker out of Memphis. And he's got some ties to Mac Jones. They went to prep school together as that's a first down for Clark. And pressure on Brady White. They do. Picked up nicely. Clark. And he's going to be dumped short of the 30, but well. Second down and nine. Staying clean in the pocket. White now running out of time. Throws on the run. Right on target at the 16. Got his man. Javon I Here's the tight end. Priest Corn. Shifting to the left side, and Asa Martin will run on that side. Gets loose, lowers his shoulder, and he's down to the two-yard line. They want to throw it. Oh, my. And he <laughs> yeah. can catch it, too. <laughs> Dorcius with the touchdown grab. Dorcius with the touchdown grab. Look at this. The tight end taking it in for two. John Hassel. They caught FAU napping. And they get two easy ones to make it 18-0. Yeah, just two catches in that first half for Calvin Austin. 
They're going to dump it out to the running back, Martin, and nowhere to go. It's going to be fourth down is at Owl's defense. We thought, we thought Willie Taggart was really disappointed at the call, and I think he was. But based on what he said to Lauren there, he's more disappointed with his senior guard. He's defensive player, he's been out with an injury for a few weeks. It's going to be a first down carry, and the Owls into plus territory for the first time in a long time. Loss, what a big body in the middle there. Look at the pass here, Trani. Man wide open, and it's caught at the 20. Well, it's one of the best passes we have seen thrown here tonight by Tronti. Off the edge. Picked up. Pass underneath is caught. And the receiver gets loose. Inside the five-yard line, down to the one, Brandon Robinson. Going to the corner. Has a man caught. T.J. Chase. And Florida Atlantic is on the board. Chase putting it up high where he can get it. Defender's not able to get his eyes around. Amelia Bowl on Christmas Day, but played here at the Crampton Bowl. I just want to make that oh. clear. Loose football. Another break for the Owls. And they've got a takeaway as Kelvin Dean comes up with the loose football. Sure-handed. That ball comes down the 25-yard line. That was Caden Prescorn. Yeah, I have a Prescorn in his hands. Dean, third down. Over the middle. Pass caught. And that is a first down for the Owls, and this looks like a completely different unit. They'll rush just three. Picked up nicely, Tronti rolls out, nothing downfield, and he's run out at the sideline. Special teams unit for the Tigers. Well, they didn't get a touchdown, but they take advantage of the Tigers' turnover. Pressure off the edge, stepping up. White finds a wide open receiver, Javon Ivory. Inside the 15-yard line and down to the 12. Finally, second down and five. From the seven, White going to loft it to the end zone. There is Austin for the catch. And a touchdown for the Tigers. That's Ohio State at number 11, according to him. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> that bothered him. Yeah, a little bit. That, uh, you know, they got a break. And... Let's see if the Owls get another break. They think so. Anderson, the big man, coming away from the scrum with the football. Let's see here. If the knee comes down. Boy, it's hard to see. Because it rained pretty hard there for several moments. It's lightened up again. So they just now see the ball coming out. I get three, three was the right? threshold. Three was they're, what he they're needed. close here. We'll see if this is, is After one. After review, it was a fumble recovered by the defense. The ball will belong to FAU at the 33-yard line. 40 seconds to go in the third. Tronti on the keeper finds a nice hole. Gets to the sideline, and he's on his feet to the three. Tronti goes under center. He'll hand it off. Charles lowers his head and burrows down to the one, but that's it. Now it's fourth down. Could be the ball game right here. We'll see. Tronti. He's going to be hit, and down he goes at the six. Just a smothering effort by that Memphis D, and they'll take over on down. <laughs> the Silverfields have their pups. Above the fireplace. Rolling out, white, and oh. bobbled and dropped by Dykes. Lauren Sisler here at the Montgomery Bowl. Just over eight minutes to go. FAU's got it, and they've got a first down on that run by James Charles. Tronti. Plenty of time to throw. On Cork's one, and it's complete at the 46-yard line. Jet sweep. And Morrell is going to be stopped at the 40. Turn FAU over on downs for the second time this half. Not going to happen here. Trying to stay on his feet, but can't, is Jordan Morrell. McIntyre's unit has played well tonight. Bringing the heat, picked up to the end zone, broken up. They need the seven-yard line to keep the drive alive. Tronti intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And Thomas Pickens wisely takes a knee. 